Hi, I'm Peter Holly, President and CEO of Fabled Copper Corp. And today I'd like to tell you about our latest 2021 field results, where we sampled on surface 4.83% copper on the 2A copper occurrence. This is Fabled Copper's fifth set of results of 2021 surface field work on its Musqua copper project, comprised of the Neal property, previously referred to as the North Block, and the Toro property, previously referred to as the South Block, in northwestern British Columbia. The company also holds right to the Bronson property further to the south. We will report our findings on the Neal property first, and then followed by Toro and then Bronson. We started at the new year by reporting our findings on the Lady Luck occurrence in the south end of the Neal property, followed by the Mac occurrence, the 8A copper occurrence, the Harris copper occurrence, and now the 2A copper occurrence in the central sector of the Neal property. The 2A copper occurrence was sampled over a vertical distance of 56 meters, starting from 1,401 meters above sea level. Grab sample D723420, taken at the 1,401 meter elevation, consisted of quartz carbonate with iron staining on the weathered surface, white to light green in color with patches of dark brown and on the fresh surface, white in color, moderate malachite copper alteration with 2% calcopyrite as patches. This sample assayed 1.81% copper. Grab sample D-723418 was taken one meter vertically above that described earlier and consisted of quartz carbonate with vugs, patches of limonite with minor malachite alteration and 10% calcopyrite as patches, blebs and disseminations. This sample assayed 4.83% copper. Now. Grab sample D-723419 taken at the 1,424 meter elevation consisted of milky white quartz carbonate with a trace of malachite alteration and a trace of calcopyrite. And as expected, this sample returned 0.05% copper. Now, random grab sample D-723422 consisted of 90% carbonate and quartz with rusty limonite. Gothic as patches and micro seams with no apparent sulfides were present and as expected, this returned 0.01% copper. No altitude reading was collected at this point. Grab sample D-723423 taken at 1,454 meters consisted of white carbonate in a weakly sheared siltstone with no apparent sulfides and again, as expected, contained no sulfides and copper. Chip sample D-723424 was taken at the 1,457 meter elevation over a width of 0.5 meters and consisted of white quartz carbonate with moderate malachite alteration 4% calcopyrite as patches and disseminations, and a trace of boronite. This chip sample assayed 1.56% copper. Moving forwards, the company will evaluate the 2A copper occurrence as this copper occurrence has never been drilled and remains open in all directions. Follow us as we report our findings on the 2021 field exploration season.